What's going on guys, Josh here. And in this video, I want to discuss with you guys and show you guys a live breakdown of understanding your numbers and probably one of the most important numbers when you're running any kind of paid ads um, on social, right? Regardless of the platform. And the, the context behind this story and, and this work through is, I was speaking to a friend of mine who owns a seven figure brand and he's been struggling in the last seven months Oh, sorry, the last three months, he's been struggling to, you know, get back into profit. He's been breaking even or, you know, credit card debt is just racking up. And the first question I asked him was, okay, well, dude, if this is the case, then what are your, uh, you know, what are your contribution margins? What are your break even targets? What are your CAC targets? And so on and so forth. And uh, the response that he gave me was actually quite shocking. He said, uh, I don't actually know. Um, what would you recommend or what is your brand what are your brands doing and this is where the crux of the problem really kind of lies right if you try to figure out what your contribution margin targets should be or your cac targets should be based upon another brand or what another brand is doing you're in for a bad time because every business has different operating expenses different revenue talk like different um uh, re recommended retail prices right all these th different things, different margins that need to come into play, right? So for example, the eight figure brand that I'm running, uh, like I'm doing the marketing for and running the paid media for, if I was to use their contribution margin targets, their CAC targets, their MER targets for my brand, you know what would happen? I'd be, I'd be in debt. I'd be in so much debt that I don't know what to do to survive. So in this video, I want to um, walk you guys through how I would actually do this and how do I would actually calculate this so that when you're ready to run ads on paid uh, with social, you know where you're going, right? So uh, I'm going to use this reference uh, for my friend here and I'm going to send him uh, this document as well. Now, uh, let's jump into my screen here again, guys. Well, the way I like to do these videos is that these are just raw and uncut because I firmly believe this is where the the real magic um, happens uh, with myself at least, right? So I don't like to edit things out and so on and so forth. So this sheet here is uh, the sheet that I personally use for uh, my brands. Um, the eight figure brand that we have, um, we use a, a little bit more of a complex one because the founder is a freaking genius, smarter than I am. So he, he created his own, right? Um, but this is a rudimentary, it's a great place to start, right? Especially if you're at the seven figure mark, under 10 million per year, it's, you're, you're, you're gonna be better than, off than most if you use something like this, all right? So um, one thing I will also say is this one is, this sheet, this specific sheet will be available in the free uh, group or community that I have, just to give you as much value as possible. But this sheet here, which is like an NCAC target uh, calculator per day by day, um, this one is not available in the free group, just FYI, all right? But that's not the purpose of this video, I just wanted to show you. Let's go through it. Okay, so I've got my notes over here. And what I wanna show you is, because after speaking to him, I was like, okay, well, shoot, we've got, we've got a few issues. Let's quickly go through it. Now, um, what we started off with was, let's see, how much was his landed cost? His landed cost for a particu this particular product was uh, $69, right? And then the shipping cost uh, for this guy was about uh, $11 or so. I think he's selling it for about $380, uh, $379, if I remember. Um, so $379, and then he also has... Um, some fees that he has to c take into consideration. So we'll, put, we'll add in a few miscellaneous fees here. So 11 um, from my um, math right here, it's uh, $3 and then an additional $11, I believe. So 11 plus three, okay. So all in, we are in $94. Let me just double check my math here. Okay, sorry, we are, uh, we're missing one, one dollar. Okay, so we're at ninety-five dollars all in landed cost, right? Plus the shipping cost it's going to take to send it to the customer, plus any Shopify fees, uh, plus any kind of um, you know packaging and pick pack fees and so on and so forth, right? So we've got these numbers, okay? That means, right? So he's selling at three seventy-nine. That means that this calculator will tell you, okay, well this is how much I can spend to get an actual customer, 
right? 284, and then if you get a customer at that target, right? Or at this cost, sorry, you're gonna break even, okay? So at least this gives us a number, right? The, num the calculation underneath though, the minimum ROAS, right? I always try to go for something where it's un under 1.8, but this was a long time ago. I would actually go the lower the better, in all honesty. Then, so what we're pretty much saying is like on like overall MER, if we're doing an overall MER calculation, and that's why we use a sheet like this, right? As long as the day by day basis and the trailing four and the trailing seven and the trailing 14 is over this number here, we're good, right? I'm not gonna worry. I'm not gonna do anything, okay? We're gonna keep going as long as we're profitable, as long as we're good, you know, we're gonna keep increasing budgets, right? Until we find that equilibrium point, right? Um, or until we, uh, you know, tap that out. Then what I like to do is most e-com brands, right? Just generally, I'm just generally speaking, right? No, like there are uh, unicorns and caveats to this, but just from um, my experience, we see gross profit margins for e-com brands anywhere from 30%, right? Down to like zero and under, meaning losing money, right? Which is where my friend is at. And um, that's why I like to have these numbers in place so that when you're jumping into running paid ads, well, here are the targets. Now the targets though, does not necessarily mean that this is what's going to like the, the eventual outcome for your paid advertising. If that's not the case, what this does give you though, is I need to aim towards this. So let's say for example, I'm running paid ads for my brand and my target, uh, my target cost is 170. I want to hit a 30% uh, gross profit margin. If my, that's my target and I'm coming in at, let's say 200 for my actual target cost. Oh, sorry, sorry. At my actual customer acquisition cost, right? then I know that I need to like pull a certain lever, whether it be creative offer or whatever, so that I can try and get it closer to that 30, right? But by knowing these metrics, it allows you, allows you to have a, uh, like an idea of which direction you need to go, right? So I just wanted to very clearly caveat that. Some people in the past have said, oh, Josh, you know, you know, you gave me this calculation. How come my thing's not at that number? It's like, well, cause you're bad at advertising. Like these are just targets, okay? Just very, very clear, okay? So for this guy, he needs to hit a one, he needs to spend 170 in order to get a customer for him to have a 30% gross profit margin, right? That means uh, it, the next portion is if he wants to hit 20%, he needs to spend $208. The next one, if he wants to hit 10%, 246, right? So um, this is the this is the, the targets, okay? Then we have this ACOS, which is advertising cost of sale. Right, so this is like the, the percentages, right? This is for your Amazon guys, yeah, Amazon geeks. Um, but uh, I don't, I only do that just because it helps some people understand. Now, when we go to um, MER targets though, for this specific business, right? Then we've got, you know, 2.23, if we're hitting a 2.23 consistently, it means we're kind of, you yeah, know, we're profitable, right? Um, if we're doing a 1.8, 20%, if we're doing a 10%, right, we need to hit 1.5. Now, take into consideration though that there are no OPEX expenses included into this. So if he's paying like agency fees, if he's paying, you know, uh, staffs, if he's paying, you know, uh, VAs, et cetera, et cetera, it should be baked in so that these targets aren't um, overblown, right? Again, you need to know your numbers, right? Now, once you're once you've done that, it can it calculates your contribution margin, right? So your contribution margin is essentially how much profit am I left off after per unit of sale, right? After I take into consideration my pick pack fees, all of the variable costs to deliver that sale, right? The, it gives you a contribution margin of the 30%, 20%, 10% margin, right? So per sale, he's getting $113 here. Um, per sale, he's getting 75, 76. Per sale, he's getting $38 here, okay? So based off that, it allows us to give a, a like a breadth, right? Because even if we're in a percentage or anywhere between, you know, the 1.3 uh, to all the way to the 2.3, uh, two, three, that's, that's the spectrum in which we want to be in, right? The moment we dip down underneath 
the uh, the 1.3, that's when we have a problem, right? Because we're going to be in the red. Um, again, make sure you bake in your operation exp expenses as well. The way that you can do that is just take your trailing 30 days, right? Let's just uh, let's just do this as an as an example. Let me just create a new sheet here. So let's say for example, uh, trailing 30 days, we had 100 orders, okay? And then we had our operational expenses per month is something like you know let's say you're paying an agency three thousand dollars let's pay you're paying a staff um, sorry so ugc for two thousand dollars per month for more content let's say for example you also have um staffing costs which is about another fifteen hundred and then you also have um I don't know, just some random OPEX, like your your own wage, right? Let's say you pay yourself 2,500, okay? So then what you've got here is you've got a OPEX of 9,000 per month, right? So 9,000 per month and then divide that by 100. So you need to, uh, because you have 100 orders uh, per day, pretty much what you need to do is you need to bake in an extra $90 uh, to this. So the way that that would look is if here, just bake that in, 90, boom. And then you can see that your numbers very significantly change, right? As you can see, our MER targets are now at 4.7, 3.2, 2.4, and so on and so forth. So what this would indicate to me, if someone had this kind of target, right, but they weren't having like scale, they weren't able to achieve scale, or they weren't able to achieve, um, you know, profitability at scale, sorry. What that means is that their expenses here are a little bit overblown, right? So let's just go and let's just remove the agency fee, right? Let's just go and remove the content fee. And I'm gonna have a video um, about the content and how I uh, reduce the content fee down, right? And then let's just remove this 90 and let's make it 40. And you're gonna see how different our MER targets will change, right? So look here, we've, got, we've gone from a four down to a 2.9 to in order to achieve a 30% profit, right? Now imagine you uh, stop being silly and you stop paying yourself, right? Because you should always like pay pay yourself a little bit, right? Not too much. Don't overblow your budget, but you know you should pay yourself something, right? So let's just say fifteen dollars per order. Um, oh shoot, what am I doing? Um, sorry guys. Let's say uh, you've, you're paying yourself 1500 and then now you're paying your VA um, 1000 right? So you got $2,500, $25 per order. That's gonna change it even more, right? So boom, just like that. And, and so on and so forth, right? So that's how you bake in your operational expenses. But let's just say, for example, his OPEX is zero, okay? Then from here, what I like to do also for him or, or for personally is I like to calculate based on units sold, right? How many... What, what's going to be my yearly revenue? What's going to be my um, my daily revenue, my ad spend, unit cost, and so on and so forth? Because again, it's just about planning, right? So if, if we have a look here, okay, well, if our daily revenue is this, right, it's going to calculate this times by the selling cost. So we're going to be making uh, pretty much 4K per day, right? So this allows you to kind of plan out where you're going to be in the future, right? So from this, it says, okay, well, if we're selling 10 per day, our yearly revenue is gonna be a 1.4 mil per year. We're gonna be spending about 2.4 uh, in ad costs every single day. This is gonna be the unit, um, the unit economics, so the unit costs, right? Here's the net profit per day, right? And again, we give a spectrum, 30%, 20%, 10%. Right, because this is like again, we just want to have that forecast uh, to to go off of. Right, so we've got net profit, um, thirty, twenty, ten. Okay, so let's say for example, he wants to go and he wants to say, Josh, you know what? I want uh, I want my sales to be at ten million per year. No problem. Okay, what do we need to do to get to that point? Right, he he might say, Oh, I want to only spend. You know, if I'm spending 10 million, oh, if I want to make 10 million per year, I only want to spend a thousand a day, right? Based on this calculator, right? Just using pure, clear your logic, right? You're able to determine. Well, okay. Well, if you want 10 million per year, well, here's the breadth. You need to actually spend. You need to actually sell about 75 units per day, right? Somewhere in between the 70 and 80. Okay. Then, if you want to, um, if you only want to spend. Um, uh, 1,000 a day, well, I'm sorry, buddy, like that's just not relevant, right? Because you've got your targets um, in mind here and you need to be spending, you know, anywhere from 17,000 to 11 to 12,000 per day in order to hit that number, 
right? So it's all about just making sure you have logic behind this, right? So would you, I, I would actually challenge you guys to do the same, right? Do the same calculation for your business because a lot of businesses, they do not do this. I don't know why they don't do this, but they just don't do it. And if you don't do it and you are bloody trying to run paid ads, well, truth be told, guys, you're, it's pretty much the same as you going onto one of the state highways, right? Your engine lights blinking, your, your, you know, your speedometer is all on the fritz, right? And you just don't believe it, right? You just don't believe it. You're just like, meh, whatever, it doesn't matter, right? And then you wonder why you get pulled over or why you can't stop the car in time when, you know, there's a sudden stop on an highway, right? So I wanted to show you guys this very quick explanation, um, just using my uh, my friend's numbers as well, and uh, just to leverage uh, this as a way of a take an opportunity, take this teaching opportunity for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will also leave a link uh, to uh, the free community down below where you can get access to this plus this free training and so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are having an amazing Tuesday. I'll guys uh, or whenever you are watching this, I'll catch you guys later.